Hi, this is Matt from the MRP Tech Podcast. And over the last few weeks, I have been introducing some new hardware to my recording studio. And I thought I would take a look at Ubuntu Studio 1610. It's a Linux distribution based primarily for anyone interested in production of any means. So what I did is I downloaded Ubuntu Studio and installed it onto an old 2008 Dell laptop. And let's take a look at it and see how it works. So what you're looking at is the XFCE desktop. And the XFCE desktop is a lightweight desktop environment. And just basically is a, is gets out of the way for you and allows you to get your work done. So this nice, beautiful drop-down menu gives you a list of installed software that's available pre-installed when you install Ubuntu Studio 16.04. And in my case, uh, I, I use Ubuntu Studio now for audio production. So it has a lot of really powerful tools that are available for you to use, such as Ardour, which is a really powerful uh, audio recording program. And Audacity is also another well-known recording program as well. I use both of those tools every single week. Uh, you have other tools, Internet DJ Console, you have Q-Tractor, and Ubuntu Studio is great if you're not familiar with some of these uh, software and you are able to just try them out for absolutely free. Uh, for instance, Muse MuseScore is a music notation software for anyone who's interested in writing music. If you use proprietary software like Finale or Sibelius, that's going to run a couple hundred dollars. And you can try MuseScore absolutely free, and you can use it forever for absolutely no cost to you. Uh, LMMS is also a music production piece of software. So you can see there are some really powerful tools. There are CD burning software. If you're a graphics designer, there's also a ton of software pre-installed. Blender and Inkscape, GIMP, and Scribus are all tools that are equivalents to things like Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere and other pieces of software, again, that you're going to pay lots of money to use. And if you're a, a student or if you're someone who doesn't have the money to put down to be able to use this proprietary software, Ubuntu Studio would be a, a good place to start so that you can learn uh, how to use these things. So, okay, one of the things that I'm going to get into more of is video production. And I'm getting really tired of iMovie on the Mac. It just is not, does not have the features that I am looking for, and it seems to always get in my way. So I'm going to look at something called Kden Live, and I've downloaded it on other computers that I have. And there are other video editors on here if you don't like Kden Live. There's OpenShot and PTV, and they're really great resources for you to... Get in, get started with video production, and sort of learn the ropes of video production. Now, this particular Linux distribution, Ubuntu Studio, is perfectly capable of uh, running a professional production environment. Uh, however, I think there's some really great resources for education, um, and what I mean by that is any student looking to get started in audio production or audio recording, things like that. This is a great resource to just try software and, and see if it works for you. Um, and one of the things that I'm going to do, I want to switch my workflow from, from sort of Mac to, to completely Linux-based over the next few weeks. And this is the reason why I'm looking at Ubuntu Studio. It really seems very interesting to me. It, everything that I use is available, and I don't have to go and install it, and it's ready to go for me. And it's just basically plug and play once everything is installed. So there are traditional uh, software installed, just like you would see in any other Linux di distribution. Uh, you're going to have LibreOffice and a few other um, pieces of software here and there that you might recognize. And Ubuntu Studio is just kind of a, a really nice XFCE install that is lightweight. You can install it on older computers and will run quite well because it's got the Ubuntu uh, family uh, installed, uh, you, you're, you're running something that is, is developed and fine-tuned and, and made to run quite well. So I encourage you all to try Ubuntu Studio. 
it's something that I want to look more at over the next few weeks. And I'm uh, really interested in, and I've seen just how much it has improved since I accidentally came across this when I first started u- using Linux way back in 2009, 2010, somewhere in that area. And uh, it has come a long way. And I encourage you to try it out. So if you have any questions about Ubuntu Studio, you can send me an email, mrptechreviews at gmail.com. And you can also check out my Patreon page, MRP Tech Reviews. Excuse me, my Patreon page is patreon.com slash mrptech. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.